Hey guys, today's video is a makeup tutorial and some outfit ideas inspired by 4th of July. I started out by applying my everyday face makeup, so I'm already wearing that in this clip. And yes, I am wearing way too much bronzer, but I couldn't tell because of the lighting. For the eyes, I'm going to start by putting on some eyeshadow primer, since we're going to use some colorful eyeshadows. Then I'm going to put a white eyeshadow all over my eyelid. This will make the colorful eyeshadows a little more vibrant. For this I'm just using a flat makeup brush. Using an angled brush, I'm taking a light blue eyeshadow and lining my upper lash line with it. Then I'm dipping the brush in some water, because a wet brush will pick up more color than a dry one, and my blue eyeshadow isn't the best quality, so I needed that. Now I'm taking a darker blue color on the wet angle brush and lining my lower lash line with it. Then I'm taking a brush that's angled and has a flat bottom and taking the light blue color from before and putting it on the outer half of my eyelid. Now I'm dipping the brush in some water and taking the darker blue eyeshadow and putting that color in my crease. On a flat shader brush, I'm taking an even darker blue color and putting it in my outer crease to make that part darker. Now I'm just blending the colors a little so there isn't any lines. Then I'm lining my waterline with a white pencil eyeliner and I'm also putting a little in my inner corner to brighten up my eyes. Lastly for the eyeshadow, I'm taking a sparkly silver eyeshadow and putting it in my inner corner. Then I'm curling my eyelashes. If you want, you can also put on some fake lashes. Now I'm just lining my other last line with a black liquid eyeliner. I think it looks prettier when it's winked out, but I'm not going to do that because I'm very bad at it. Lastly, I'm applying a few coats of my favorite mascara. For my lips, I'm going to make them wet. I'm using a lip balm instead of a lipstick, because I think it looks more natural. Lastly, I'm just applying a shiny wet lip gloss. Now onto the outfits. All of the outfits have small 4th of July inspired details, but none of them are huge flags or anything like that. And all of the outfits can also be worn on any day, not only 4th of July. The first outfit is this one, which I think would be really good if you're going to the beach, because the top is really loose and flowy, and I'm also wearing a bikini top under it. The shirt I'm wearing is from Aeropostale, the shorts are from Monkey, and I don't remember where the bikini top is from, but I know you can buy similar ones on eBay. I don't know where the bracelet is from either, because I got it as a gift. 
Outfit number two is probably my favorite because it's really comfortable and it's probably the most fourth of July in spite of all the outfits. The shorts I'm wearing is from February 18 and the top is from New Yorker. The back of this top is lace, so I'm wearing a little red strappy top under it. I bought it in Reese. The bow and all the earrings are from Claire's. I love the third outfit as well. It's really comfortable and I think it looks really cute. I'm actually not wearing anything red, so I'd probably wear some red shoes or red cardigan with this outfit. I'm pretty sure that my suspender is from a store in Germany called CNA. My top is from Bayer 18. The bow and all the earrings are the same as before, so they're from Claire's. The last outfit is probably the most festive of them all. I'm wearing a dress from H&M, a star necklace from a store in Denmark that I don't remember the name of, and then a bow and some earrings from Claire's. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and happy 4th of July to everyone that celebrates it. Thanks for watching, bye!